hope that all of you are doing well and having a great week thus far. Uh, just a couple of things that are coming up. Uh, we started signups for the tour last night and uh, had an announcement video, and maybe I'll put that video in here. Um, so start pushing it and start hopefully marking your calendar to come to the tour. It's going to be awesome. November 9th, November 10th, 11th, and 12th. Also, um, I think the 11th grade girls have a party coming up, and if there's other things that you would like to do. Um, as far as events, just let me know because we announced that last night. Um, as well as there's some opportunities for service starting in January for sure, and I'm going to try to get a couple more. I know I'm working with uh, CCCC Chandler Christian Community Center about doing a couple of things during spring break, which I know that probably a lot of adults won't be able to do. But we can get students over there to work. And uh, also with Pregnancy Care Center in the month of October, uh, having a big clean day or something like that. So I'll let you know as soon as we get those solidified. They're kind of in the process of being worked out right now. So last night, we uh, Pastor Dave spoke at views and it was great um but he talked about labels or names or identities that people give us that uh, we live into because we maybe just believe that they're true and and he came from matthew uh, chapter 12 verses 33 through 37 which is jesus talking about how words how powerful our words are and they can either destroy or they can give life they they can either kill or they can um cause somebody to be encouraged and to, to potentially bring life to them. And so he talked to uh, one, one aspect of how do we use our words? Are we destroying people? Or are we the type of people that give life and that continually encourage and build each other up? And then he uh, talked about are there their names or their labels or their identities or their words that people have used against us that are hurtful? and that we have lived into because we think that's who we are at rather than living into who God has created us to be and realizing we're each special and, and, and uniquely designed to be who he created us to be. And so he really hit on that for a while and talked about, you know, what are things that people have said to you? Uh, you know, he mentioned like, you know, fat, ugly, out of shape, uh, not the best nerd geek. Um, and instead of realizing that those are labels that people put on us, that's not who the way God looks at us. He told a cool story about from this guy named Tony Campolo and said that Tony Campolo was at a conference or uh, an event and that somebody looked at him and said, you know, Jesus never met a prostitute. He never met a prostitute. And uh, Tony Campolo was going to turn around and be like, what are you talking about? And was going to quote specific scriptures that said this is that Jesus talked and, and met with prostitutes. And then he said Tony got to thinking about it, and he looked at the guy and said, you know, you're right. The world would have looked at that lady and said that she was a prostitute, but when Jesus looked at her, he didn't look at the outside. He looked at her potential and what she could be. And, and, and so he's like, you're right. He never met one because he never saw them as that. He always saw them as what they could be, as a redeemed person following after him. And so uh, this morning could just be a time of, um, it could be a serious time. At the end, Pastor Dave asked people to bow their heads and and, and ask them if they uh, were living under some of these labels, under some of these things, and, and wanted to be more of who God created them to be. And then he prayed a prayer over them and had them raise their hand while people weren't looking. And so it might be a good idea to say, hey, was, was that maybe you? Was that somebody or something that you... Um, related to and what are those things and how can we continually seek to remember who God is and who God is calling us to be and not be um, sidetracked by what others may say about us and what they think about us. And then also how are we being people who give life to other people rather than destroy and hurt and kill them with our words and how are we uh, making sure that all people feel special, um, all those people we come in contact with and uh, and that maybe when they leave our presence, they they feel something different because um, because they were among us and because we were being Jesus to them in a big and a mighty way. So that's what it'll be. I'll give you questions. They'll be attached to this thread. Uh, if you have any questions for me, let me know. Other than that, we will see you Sunday. And uh, have a great, great day.